Welcome to the latest episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Today we'll be introducing our affordable Zotac GeForce 9600 GSO. Inside the box you'll find the Zotac GeForce 9600 GSO graphics card with dual dual-link DVI outputs as well as a TV output, an SLI connector for two-way SLI, and a PCI Express power connector. Bundled with the card is a DVI to VGA adapter, DVI to HDMI adapter, SPDIF audio input cable to route audio through HDMI, a TV output dongle with component and S-video outputs. and a dual Molex to 6-pin PCI Express power adapter. To demonstrate the performance of the graphics card, we'll be installing it in our mainstream system featuring a Zotac GeForce 8300 motherboard, an AMD Phenom X4 9550 processor, 2 gigs of Patriot DDR2 memory, and a Western Digital Caviar hard drive. Zotac recommends a minimum 400 watt power supply for single card operation, or a 700 watt power supply for SLI operation. When it's on the graphics card, don't forget to connect the PCI Express power connector or the system will not boot. The Zotac GeForce 9600 GSO is an affordable graphics card featuring 96 stream processors and 384 MB of video memory. We'll be demonstrating the performance using the games Crisis and Grid. In a demanding game such as Crisis, you can expect around 31 frames per second at a resolution of 1440 x 900 with medium quality settings and no anti-aliasing. In a game such as Grid, you can expect around 57 frames per second with a resolution of 1440 x 900 with medium settings and 2 times anti-aliasing. And that concludes this episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Thank you for joining us.